Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Monday evening edition of Mr. Eric Reads. Today's book is by Philip and Hannah Hoos, and it's called Hey, Little Ant. And this book was um, on loan to us from Barrett's teacher, Mrs. Kitchens, because she thinks that this is a great book, and I think it's a great book, and he thinks it's a great book, so we hope you'll think it's a great book. So, without further ado, let's read Hey, Little Ant, right here. On Mr. Eric. Mr. Eric. Wink. Hey, little ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe? Can you see that? Well, now it's gonna squish you flat. Please, oh, please don't. Do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with the crumb of pie. Please, oh, please don't make me die. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small, I don't think it'll hurt at all. But you are a giant and giants can't see how it knows to, to be an ant. Come down close, I think you'll see that you are very much like me. Are you crazy? Me? Like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest my nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed them ants too. I must not die beneath your shoes. But my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Hey, I'm not a crook. Can't free my lips. Sometimes I need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please don't make your shoe come down. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me. They're listening too. They all say I should squish you. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If I, if I were, if I, if you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do?
Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid, not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. And what do you think that kid should do? The end. That was Hey Little Ant by Philip and Hannah Hoos right here on Mr. Eric Reads with the assist from Mr. Barrett. Thank you again, Miss Kitchens, for letting us borrow that book. And hopefully that makes you guys think about how we treat other people. Is it the way that we ourselves would like to be treated? If not, the power to change it is actually in your hands. So as always, guys, please stay safe and healthy. Please wash your hands. Just like the Hey Little Ant story, practice kindness and read every single day. Until tomorrow, Mr. Eric and Mr. Barrett saying goodbye. Bye.